Hey guys, good morning. It's TC Mave here with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you something real quick. This is uh, something I've been working on for the last couple of days, and uh, I have a couple of other live streams planned for you, and I wanted to get this one done before I got back into uh, some of the things that I was working on with the control rig and uh, all those things. But uh, basically what this is, it is the Paragon Animation Group, and all of their animations, I've retargeted them onto... The synth or the um under the epic mannequin skeleton for you, and what it'll basically allow you to do is to uh, very quickly leverage the animations from all those different characters onto a different character. So this is kind of like an intermediate middleman file that if you have something that you want to put these on, you'll be able to use this one character to translate all those over instead of doing it with each one. So what I've done uh, basically is I took every one of the uh, one of the paragon files here so for example let's look at like the countess get a character file here and if you go out and you look at her file she has these animations in here for example if i pull up ability e and uh what i did is i took this animation and i retargeted that onto this mannequin so if you go under the mannequin animations paragon look up count and then pull up ability e you'll see the mannequin playing that same animation now the file that i put out on on the drive for you i don't have all of these uh paragon characters in there so basically you know all this stuff from here down uh, is not in that file none of that stuff's out there all the things are found under mannequin animation paragon and then whatever the name of the character was and the reason that I did it that way is because otherwise it would take forever to upload the thing. But uh, the general gist of it is that, you know, you should be able to pull these out and use them. And I'm going to pull a character in here real quick and show you a way that I would use them. I'll pull it up in the other uh, the other character file that I have. I also have um, recently contacted and talked to uh, Cinti. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Cinti Polygon assets. And I have gotten permission from the Cinti group to be able to take one of their skeletons and use it for retargeting all these things onto so that I can give you guys these same animations ready to go for Cinti character. So what I'm gonna show you is how I would use <clears throat> this mannequin to retarget onto a Cinti character real quick, but really it's it's all about the Paragon animations. Um, and where you can get this file is if you look in the description of this video, it'll give you a link out to GitHub. And on GitHub, I have a repository out there that has this in it. So this tells you how to use it. And the one big thing that you need to know is the only way that I'm allowed to distribute these files out there is if it's to a licensed user who is going to be using these on a game within Unreal Engine. So as you uh, read through this, you have to understand that what I was saying here these animations are only for use within an epic Unreal Engine project and are downloaded and used from this repository acknowledges your agreement. Be bound by the terms and conditions implied by the epic Unreal licensing agreement. Okay, so if you want to use these on your character, you would download this file. And if you know a little bit about GitHub, you could actually go directly into the content folder under Mannequin, Animations, Paragon, and you could pull up, you know, each individual one that you wanted to, and you could pull this down. Now, if you're not a real... Uh, you know, person who's real familiar with GitHub, you can also just go over here and say clone or download. And when you pull this up, it'll let you download a zip file. And that zip file, when you unpack it, is going to be this uh, this epic project written for uh, 425, 4.25. It tells you in here how to set your characters up and everything to be able to use these. And I'm going to show you that part of it real quick, but I just want to let you know it was on there. Um, and again, you know, the question that I asked these guys was about using the Paragon assets in the distributed project file. And they're, they were pretty clear that, you know, I'm allowed to use them. It says you're permitted to distribute these materials to other Unreal Engine licensees. Probably not a good idea to rely solely on the assumption that only UE licensees download a UE project file. The responsibility to ensure that you are only distributing to other licensees. And, you know, my clarification with them was that these are embedded within an Unreal project file. And as a result, they use U asset files which means that in order to use them, you're going to have to have an Unreal project, which means that you've already agreed at some point to download their software, use this. So, you know, in a roundabout way, we're all agreeing to the same thing here, but I just want to make it clear that these are only for licensed users of the software for that. So 
getting that out of the way, let's go back over here and I'm going to show you uh, how you would use this. So I'm going to dump out of this one for a second. I'm going to go to a smaller version of this, the one that I had, uh, basically the one that I put up there on the drive. I have a shorter abridged version of this here that I'm working on for the Cinti one, so I'll pull that up instead and show you. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty exciting because uh, I, I find a lot of times when I put these things out that a lot of the questions that I get are around retargeting these animation files onto other characters. So what I did here is I pulled in, um, you know, a couple of Cinti things, and I'm working on, on doing it with theirs. So on the Cinti one, for example, I'm going to have a Cinti skeleton file for their different uh, types that they have. Like, and this, for the, this one's for the fantasy characters, for example. But the way that I would do this is I could go into my Polygon Fantasy Character Pack, for example, and I could go find one of my characters in there, let's say like the king. I can take the king and say, I want to assign his skeleton and assign him to this skeleton that's shared over here you know, that, that works for this thing. So I have a Cinti Polygon Unreal Skeleton, which is in this file. And when I accept that, basically now if I pull up the king, he's going to have access to all the animations here. Put him in his preview mesh. He's going to have access to all the animations that are on uh, that character for the retarget. So in this case, I had Sinti Shinbi. Go through and look at these. You know, they got all these different files on here. Combat, jogging. A lot of these animations look so much better than the default ones that you get from the mannequin. That's why I was pretty interested in doing this, and hopefully this helps you guys out with getting your stuff up and running pretty quick. But, um, you know, again, now that I have a character on there, the way that I could do this is if I go to Mannequin, Animations, Paragon, pick a character that I'm interested in. Let's say, for example, uh, I'll just grab, grab Twin Blast. And I can take the Twin Blast character, and I can go in here, this folder, and I can basically just... Uh, Hit the first one and just hit Control A to select all of these. Right click on it. And I'm going to wait for that to load up. And then I can just simply say Retarget Anim Assets, Duplicate. And I've got this Cinti Polygon Unreal Skeleton in here, for example. I change the directory I'm going to. So for this one here, I'll, I'll just put another folder out and I'll say uh, Cinti underscore Twin Blast. And then when I hit OK and retarget, it should take all these files and retarget them onto that Cinti skeleton because I already have everything set up to do that. And that's what you guys are going to get if you're a Cinti user. I'll have one of these for Cinti up pretty soon. Same thing works on the mannequin, though. If you have another character that uses the epic skeleton, you could either set that up for retargeting and retarget onto it, or you'll just be able to change your character's mesh and tell it to use the skeleton that will be able to pull up the files. Um, I would recommend retargeting them onto your character because this is a lot of files and there's like I think 3,800 some animations. Not all of them do something because the character that they're from might have something that you didn't have on, on your skeleton. But here's your Cinti Twin Blast, for example. If I pull this up and put my Mail King preview on there or any of the characters that share that skeleton now, so I could use you know a character from another pack or whatever. Use the Nun, King... But now he has, um, there's the Twin Blast animation group that's on here for this character as well. And the way that this thing, uh, way that this thing's set up, again, you'll be able to do this pretty quick. So there they are. The Paragon animation files retargeted onto the mannequin. And then ultimately you'll be able to use them for other stuff. Like I said, some of these are just posed, um, but a lot of them are, or a lot of them are pretty good. So, like if you're using a shooter game, you could use the with Twin Blast. If you're using a fantasy game, you might use one of the other ones. Maybe a you know hand to hand combat. You might uh, Wu Wu Chong or whatever his name is. Um, yeah, I think I had it in here. There's uh, a lot of them in here, and again, you're going to get the file that's got the mannequin animations Paragon folder, and you're going to get that off of the repository that's out here at the GitHub site, which is linked in the description of. Um, it's good. It takes a little while to put these together, so the next one I'm working on, as I said, I got the uh, permission from the Cinti guys to be able to use um, one of their skeletons to be able to do this, and then I'll set up a 
explanation of how to use it for their files. So hopefully you guys get some use out of this and it gives you a real nice way to get a bunch of animations uh, basically for free because they're provided with characters that are for free from the marketplace. And you guys could download these and do it yourself, but I just tried to save you a lot of time by putting it together for you. And again, if you look in here, um, you know, if I look at the animation sequences and animation montages in here, this is 4,886 animations and montages <clears throat> already targeted onto the Epic Unreal Engine skeleton for use with your other characters within an Unreal Engine game. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. And I'll put another video up uh, probably early next week. It'll be the one for the uh, Polygon assets. And when I'm done with all those, I'm going to go back into probably going back and looking at some more stuff with the um, the control rig and also with the um, sequence, sequencer and how to render out videos using the sequencer and that type of stuff. That seems to be a pretty hot topic right now, so I'll get back to it. I may also do a full retarget of the um, advanced locomotion system onto a uh, Cinti ALS character and then provide that on the GitHub repository as well, because that's a pretty popular topic. I find a lot of people have a tough time getting that to work. And if I can use their central skeleton, the way that I'm going to use it for these animations, it should work for ALS version four also. And if you're a Cinti user, you just be able to grab that and retarget it as a file. So again, thanks for watching. Go out there and check this out. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, my pair, um, yeah, my, my Discord is uh, in the video and also some links to other my uh, animation files and things like that. But feel free to uh, drop by and say hi on the Discord. A lot of things starting to happen on there. So look forward to seeing you. And I'll get another video out to you either by the uh, next couple of days or early next week. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon.